When you come down to the Florida Keys after this dormant time of the year in the winter, and you've been covered up in snow and you haven't done much fishing and all of a sudden you get on the boat for the first time and the guide tells you, here they come or here she comes. Right here, George, oh, at 100 close. feet. Got him? Yep. Go ahead, you got it. Just leave And him alive. your heart starts beating faster and faster and faster. You tend to think to yourself, how am I going to cast this anywhere near this fish's face with the amount of adrenaline that's going through my body. And so once I think you get a handful of shots and you start to relax a little bit and you do get your first bite of the season or your first fish of the season, it sets you up for a dependency and addiction for the rest of the season. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Just like that. From a zero to, to a, a hero. hero. Change is coming. You can feel it in the air and see it on the water. The cold fronts are less frequent, the air softens, and the water temps begin to rise. It's early spring in Isla Morada, and as tarpon season looms, guides impatiently wait for the first arrivals. There are two types of tarpon anglers, ones that do it and ones that dream of it. Swarms of tarpon will make their way through the Gulf of Mexico and congregate in Florida Bay. When nature gives the green light, they'll begin their push through Isla Morada. It's a continuation of a constant journey we call their migration. We don't actually know where it begins or ends, but research tells us they're constantly on the move. Whether they are coming or going, thousands of tarpon will pass through the Florida Keys on the way to their next destination. The guides in Isla Morada watch for subtle changes in the environment. A heightened awareness keeps them on full alert. They know that any day, they'll be poling an edge or a bank and see their first migrating fish of the season. It's almost as if the tarpon appear out of nowhere. They just start to show up. Big, sexually mature, migrating fish, wagging their tails and rolling in the sun-drenched water. Tarpon season has begun. Here? Yeah, you see that light, light this color? spot right here? Out to the left of that. Out right here? So that's really where the first little zone, zone is. Bo is fishing with his good friend and artist, George Martinez. Hold on, George, you big school coming in, big school coming in out here on the back. They share a passion and love for this fishery, and today they share the 17-foot space that will take them there. Giant string. See them all? Right here? All the black. Yep, that's all poo. I got them. Woo! <laughs> Look at him daisy chaining, dog. Long, slow strips, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Just leave it in there a little, yeah. There you go, I like that fish right there. Hold on, let that one come up from the back. There you go, little takes, bring it. Come on, little guy. Yep, 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 yep. Shrip. Get him! 
my man. <laughs> Get your rod tip in the water a little if you can. There you go. Man, does that Captain Jeffrey Bloodworth have some eyes or what? Coming, coming, coming. Come to the right with it. Captain Jeff. <laughs> I did not know that one was going to Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at the string right to your right. Colin! <laughs> Woo! Just like that. <laughs>
It's nice to have a guy on the bow that makes that one shot count, you know that? I think the nerves were getting the best of me, you know? Yeah, but you know what, man? It's one of those things, too, where if you get a couple shots in there, you start to feel that groove. Yep. You know, you know where it needs to be, and you know what you Yeah, need based to do. on the reaction of the first couple casts, yeah. the adjustment had to be made. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? I think he's done. Okay, I'm coming in, no glove. Let me get right on over here. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Give me some. Give me some. Oh, he's gone. Whoa. He's gone. Bring her over. It was uh, it was quite a deal, especially because we land the fish. We put our hands on the fish. So it's like not only do you get to experience the daisy chain, which is cool as it is. We don't need to catch the fish. Just seeing them circling around with each other in that stationary moment is awesome. What a situation that was, yeah, huh? Yeah, man. Great job. Great job. Yes. That was killer, Georgie. What a morale booster that was, huh? Woo! But then you also get to hook a fish out of the daisy chain, bite a fish out of the daisy chain, and release a fish out of the daisy chain. It's as cool as it gets. It's really cool. You don't get a whole lot of bites out of those daisy chains. So it's, it's pretty special. It's awesome. Well, George, I have to tell you, man, like you said, total morale booster. And on top of that, you never know when you're going to get it. Yep. You, you got to wait till they break you down. That's it. Right? That's it. What do you think? Are you ready to let her go? I think she's ready you to go. You think she's ready? Yep. All right. You got to be at the bottom to climb. You got to be at the bottom to climb up, buddy. That's it, brother. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, man. My boy. Yeah, boy. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Take it. What a bite. What a bite. What, what a, a setup. Good eyes. Way to coach me and not lose me. Shoot, man. Are you ready to do it again? Yeah, I was feeling devastated after the first I couple shots. I was feeling devastated after going to three spots and not giving you an opportunity. So. Well, you got to capitalize, and we did, brother. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> boy. Anytime, man. My pleasure. <laughs> I don't know how to give Jared Rask a proper introduction. Get ready. I, I don't know how. Love that. And the reason why I don't know how is because he's 26 years old and he's already accomplished more than most guys will ever accomplish in their lives. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Sea Deck Marine Products. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. By Deep Eddie Vodka. Dive in. Traeger Wood Fired Grills. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Beautiful morning. I think I saw some bow way down here. Yep, see him? 12 o'clock? Yep, right there. Yep. This season, Bo is joined by his friend and local captain, Jared Raskop. Ooh. Jared was raised in the Keys and has been fishing the area since he was old enough to operate a John boat. Oh. <laughs> oh. He and Bo first met through their addiction to bone fishing but thereafter Tarpon Today with David Bryan from the Tarpon and Bonefish Research Center at the University of Miami. <laughs> Jared is just sick with that fly. Oh, you saw the one there moving um, out at uh, two o'clock, Jared? Yep, what way is he moving? So, moving to the right, coming right at you. You got a forward hand through the boat shot if you want it. That should be almost dead on his head. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Way to be patient. Way to be patient. <laughs> I saw him swirl on it the first time. That's awesome, man. I haven't got to do this for so long. It's great. That was really good. That was cool. 
David, tell me a little bit about you know the, the other tags that you have for some of these smaller fish. Yeah, so I brought with us some conventional tags. It's real simple. It's basically just a tag with some numbers on it, and you know you guys use them for bonefish sure. and, and everything. And so the idea there is if if there's fish, you know, you're going to catch several times, we can get in, we can understand a little bit about you know do they stay in places? Do they move around? Um, would this fish be a candidate, you think, for? Yeah, these fish are perfect for a little conventional tag here. Yeah. 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 Do you guys want to put one in? Put yeah, one in yeah. yeah, I think right. it'd be cool. cool. You know, yeah. th these fish, um, you know, they'll uh, they'll stay around, you know, this general zone. You know, they'll move in and out with the tide and stuff. But um, but I think it's a fish that absolutely could be caught over and over Ca again. Caught and, again, yeah. And sure. I, I mean, there's a lot to kind of learn from that about these. I mean. And the tag process itself, you know, especially with these conventional tags, it's not, it's very non-invasive, right? You it's, know, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's a, it's a minimal, it's a, it's a small dart tag. Yeah. You know, we still, we're still going to take, remove a scale and, and put it in there, but... Sure. It's, uh, yeah, it really isn't going to affect him much. Cool. What a beautiful morning. Oh, it's gorgeous. Definitely got some spunk to him. Here we go. This fish is going to have a... Fit. He's gonna have a little. When I, I, mean, I can already tell. Here you go, dude. I'm, I'm loose. All right, cool. All right, brother. Are you gonna put a little tag in him? We'll put a little tag in him. Yeah. Great. <sighs> Nicely done, Jared. Good job, guys. That was cool. Good, Good bite. Do you guys want to take a couple measurements of him? Yeah, yeah, sure. Put it all the way back here. Okay, you want an overall or a fork length? It's a fork length. 45. 45, okay. Yep. And then you want a girth length? Yeah, yep. if you guys can I do gotcha. a girth, that's I gotcha. great. I got you, that's easy. It's uh, 23 girth. 23 yep. inches of girth. For this tag, it's, it's going to be similar to where we're going to put the sat tag, but we're looking for like about a third of the way up from here to here. Yeah, there beautiful. you go, perfect. Nice. There it is. Just making sure this thing's on here real good. Perfect. Nice. I think she's good. Yeah, she's good to go. She, she comes. Goes. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right. Nice. Cool. Good job, guys. Well yeah, done. Good job. Nice good fish. Good job. Well done. Nice. You want up here? Or? I don't care. You can stay up there. I like that. <laughs> Dude, it, this is a this is an absolute giant. You called it, Bo. Need your daily dose of fishing action? Then log on to SilverKingsTV.com, WaypointTV.com, or Saltwater.tv to watch past episodes and stay caught up on the series. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo. Yep, 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 yep. You got, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. By Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear. Smith, the experience is everything. And by Nautilus Reels, Cortland Lines, and Chica Lodge and Spa. Here, here, here. Thinned up. Got him, got him. Let me just, uh, let me get you around him and spin. Just keep an eye on that spot, Jared. Three of them roll right there, thinned out. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. They're moving to the right. Oh, oh no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Right on that right fly. On the, right, right on that <laughs> fly where they're moving on. I don't know how to give Jared Raskob a proper introduction. I, I don't know how. And the reason why I don't know how is because he's 26 years old and he's already accomplished more than most guides will ever accomplish in their lives. He's a kid. He's lived in, in the Florida Keys his whole life. 
he is so talented when it comes to fishing. <laughs> Belly flop. He is the LeBron James of guiding, of fly fishing down here. He's been incredible since he was in high school. He can throw a fly rod just as good as anybody with art. He can pull a boat just as good as anybody. He's strong. He, you know, he works out. He takes his job seriously. There you go. Here you go. He, uh, he's not only an incredible fisherman, but he's a great person. Great person. He's got um, a very good heart. He cares about people. Hold it tight till you got it. He's got a great sense of humor, which is so. It's just it's it makes it for me because I love to laugh. I'm I'm a goof too. I like to joke around and talk trash with people and kind of you know get under people's skin a little bit. And Jared's the same way. You know, I mean, if if you can dish it out, you better be able to take it. <laughs> Jared, did you wash your face this morning? <laughs> Hey, bro, why are you the captain? Why you come do this? <laughs> so, uh, I'm so fortunate to call him a friend. I'm fortunate to have him a part of this television show. Um, he, he's just uh, hes just a great guy. There we go. Yes. Good. Yeah, it's on this. Nice and solid there. All right. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, I'm guessing that, that means... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... That's how you want to see him swim. Hey man, off. good job, Dave. Hey. Good job. Nice fish. Very good. Hey. Yeah, it looks Another like one. Look at that. Very cool. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I was gonna say, if you, didn't, if you didn't wash your face. Get up there.